short circuit capacity. So, in order to be able to choose the correct circuit breaker of the right ratings okay, and even the size and dimensions of the bus bar, we need to find out the short circuit capacity or it is also called as short circuit MVA. Okay. So, this is given as short circuit MVA is we will represent as SCC okay short circuit capacity okay so this is going to be equal to root 3 into VL which is the line voltage into the short circuit current 3 phase short, short circuit current into 10 to the power minus 3 MVA so why 10 to the power minus 3 is coming here this is depending on the units of the parameters that we are taking right. So, ISC is the 3 phase RMS fault current and this unit is in amperes ok and VL is the line voltage in kilo volt. So, we are getting in MVA mega volt ampere right. So, that is the reason we are taking this in kilo volt and again multiplying by 10 to the power minus 3 ok. So, if you do not want all of this confusion you can write the voltage in volts and you can remove this 10 to the power minus 3 but the units that you are going to get is volt ampere ok. But short circuit usually it is measured in MVA that is why we are using this expression ok. Set your now we will try to find out the short circuit MVA in terms of per unit values ok. So, first we will start off with the short circuit current in per unit. So, what will be the short circuit current in per unit? This will be equal to we have found out in the previous lecture the pre fault voltage we can write as Vf per unit divided by the reactance in per unit. So, this is pre fault voltage in per unit usually taken as 1 ok. So, this is an assumption but this is usually taken as 1 per unit. Now, what is this? This is the Thevenin's per unit reactance as seen from the fault. So, this is the per unit value right. Now, consider the base value. Base value I B will be equal to S B into 10 cube by root 3 V B where this is in M V A and this is in kilo volt. So, we use this 10 to the power 3 so that the current we get in amperes. Now, from both of these you will get the actual value of short circuit current. What will this be? The per unit value into the base value right. So, this is going to be V f per unit divided by x per unit into S b into 10 q by root 3 V b ok. So, remember this is the line voltage. Now, this expression if you substitute in this short circuit MVA expression and what you are going to get. So, this implies the short circuit MVA SCC is equal to root 3 into V L into I S C in place of it we are going to write V F per unit by X per unit into S B into 10 Q by root 3 V B into 10 to the power minus 3 right. Now, root 3 and root 3 will get cancelled V L is equal to V B right because the base voltage is taken as the rated line voltage ok. So, here V L is equal to V B because rated voltage is taken as the base voltage. So, here you are going to be left out with 
Vf per unit into Sb divided by the per unit value of reactants. So, here 10 to the power 3 and 10 to the power minus 3 also will get cancelled. Okay. Now, like I said, Vf per, per unit is taken as 1. Okay. So, you will be left out with SCC is equal to Sb divided by x per unit MVA. So, this is because Vf per unit is taken as 1 usually. From here you can get the per unit value of the short circuit MVA. So, what will this be? The actual value divided by the base value. So, this is going to be Sb by x per unit divided by Sb. So, 1 by x per unit. So, the short circuit MVA is nothing but the inverse of the Thevenin's impedance in per unit as simple as that. Okay. Therefore, SCC in per unit is equal to 1 by x per unit.